Okay, fellas. This huge son of a diddly is again on my bench. That's because I forgot to mention in a previous video, I found more dead transistors. Not only in feedback related stuff near the optocoupler here, but also in uh, this section. The, if you look closely, you may see that they are marked uh, TP also. That's basically P means stands for power supply, I guess, because these fellas are marked TP as well. So I checked them as uh, you can see. Give me a second, please. Uh, I replaced this fella, this fella, this and this fella, as well as this fella. And since this fella is actually very close to this IC in SIP9 package, which is nothing else than a linear voltage regulator, but with dual outputs. I actually mocked up another IC there. They are supposed to be STV8130, which is 3.3 uh, volts fixed voltage output plus uh, adjustable from like 3 to 16. In this set it was adjusted to 8 volts. So I mocked up uh, a KA7630, which is uh, 8 uh, fixed uh, voltage regulator but had three outputs uh, first uh, three point th first five volts second eight volts and third around 12 I guess so I used the uh, eight volts routed it. it it has very same pin out but since 3.3 um, volt output that's a the pin that's uh, supposed to carry 3.3 volt output when this IC is 5 volts I mocked up this LM317 based regulator to drop 5 volts to 3.3 I started the set but as you saw previously I was getting lower voltages than they should be with this mock-up I was getting higher voltages than they should be so this IC must really give must really make a difference so I ordered one so that's original part, STV8130A, if you can see it. Now I ordered the part, which is looks exactly the same, but um, without A in the marking, STV8130. I guess that should work fine, I don't know. That a probably some kind of modification or st stuff to make it better. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in, pull it together so I can show you will it work or not. I'm curious also because as you can see I didn't put this IC in yet, so I don't know either. Will this work or not? I kind of wish that it should work because I want that it. I want it to be working because I was kind of having pain in the ass with this set for for like three or four days now. Gosh. All right. So meter monitoring B plus should be 106 volts there. Mm, a little over, but nothing smoking yet. I don't quite understand why the standby LED is not lit. It's only a bit higher than it should. Anyway, let me find the remote and we'll see. Alrighty, so I searched a few more problems and uh, actually when I desoldered the 
when I was desoldering this IC, as I mentioned, KA7630. It's not supposed to be there. Do not do this unless you know what you, what you're doing. And uh, I was mucking around there, and there was a, trans uh, a few SMD resistors that I whacked off when I was desoldering uh, the IC with the solder using solder wick. So I just uh, smashed them away. So after replacing them, I replaced them, but. I didn't make a nice solder joint, so one transistor effectively were in not connected, one leg not connected to the second. I did, uh, I turned it on, I checked the supply on a processor here, this big IC, and it was okay, 3.2 volts, check B, kinda high. Standby voltage exactly nice. Supposed to be 7.9, there is 7.88. B plus is kind of high, but schematics that I have uh, calls for 20 each set. And despite what I said in previous parts, this uh, screen is actually 21 inch. It's I don't know why it looked to me small, but I measured it and it's 21 inch, so nice. But schematic calls only for 20 inch, and for 20 inch B plus should be 106 volts for smaller set, smaller voltage. That's higher basically. Uh, screen size, so should be higher, but I don't know how much. I can adjust voltage with this potentiometer now, but that adjusts from around 120, 140. I don't think 140 is a good idea, so I uh, put 120. So, yeah, after replacing that resistor with a newer one plus soldering it in nicely, check this out. We got filaments glowing. All right, we got voltage, got consumption. If you listen carefully, we got sound. And we got picture. Yes. So the voltage was quite a bit higher than it should be. And that's mainly because, as I guessed, uh, because I changed transistors and I changed not for exact replacement, so gain different different st stuff. Uh, I want to show you what to high voltage B plus will do. Basically, uh, usual tool to discharge picture tube. Okay, now listen. Check it out. Listen, listen carefully. I just started entering the suction cup and I already got a spark. Way too high B, plus, way too high HT. Way too high B, plus, unnecessary stress on components such as. Another voltage regulators, vertical deflection ICs, horizontal output transistors, and so on. I checked and it's actually at 20 inch, not 21 inch. So I should uh, decrease voltage to 106 volts. I will do some modification to fixed resistors to sag that voltage down to values that I like. Alright, so from the third try I put uh, more or less right res resistor in place and instead of one, 106 volt I got 108 volt. I'll call it close enough. Because it's an old TV, picture tube likely slightly not so great emissions anymore, so by supplying more B+, it's just a 2 volts more. It's not so much. 
So I'm gonna increase HD a little bit, plus a filament voltage a little bit, it's gonna be fine. It's just 2 volt, 2 volts from 106. Calculate how much percent it is. It's not much. Deviation of plus minus 1% is allowable. Anyway. Okay, so here is a set plan. Let's see, it works fine. Oh. Have in mind, it's an analog broadcast, so it's not a digital stuff because it doesn't have a composite video input. You can try out on satellite receiver. Just the analog broadcast. But it is working. Okay. I am pretty dumb, actually. Composite video input is right on the front of the set. For some reason I was blind to see. I was very used to sets having inputs on the back side, so I sort of there, but I was staring at it quite a bit and so hey, what uh, what the hell is that? Plus when I scroll through inputs you will see that it has A V input. A V dash S, which just stands for SCART I guess. And TV channels. TV channels may come in quite loud, so be ready to lower the volume. AVS, even though I'm not feeding into SCART, it shows. And channels. Lower the volume. You can see I, on purpose. Hmm. And Papa's uh, turned on the same channel to show you the difference between satellite and analog TV. Picture says for itself. 